In this video, I'm going to show you a media sharing solution that runs on a local private Wi-Fi network. Now, this means it doesn't require any internet connectivity. It's a DIY solution that you can set up yourself, and it's more than likely not going to cost you anything at all to do this. And then you can easily incorporate this solution into your Right Booth workflow. So it will allow your event users to view and download their Right Booth videos and photos directly onto their mobile devices after they have been recorded. Now, at the end of this video, I'll provide a quick overview of how I've created all this. And more importantly, I will provide a link where you can obtain all the information you need to do it yourself. So let me first demonstrate the workflow. start the camera app and I'll just show you quickly what we've got here so I've got my laptop which is running right booth it's got a webcam on the top and I've also got a TP-Link router which is connected via an Ethernet cable directly into the laptop okay let's start the event playing I'm going to click the mouse now I get two options here. I can record a video or take a photo. So I'm going to take a photo. Now I've moved the iPad camera view just to the left slightly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna bring the screen into shot. There's my photo. Now if I move across slightly, we've got some extra stuff on this screen. We've got scan this code to join the Wi-Fi network. So I'm just going to move the camera into view here and watch what happens. The iPad has automatically detected the Wi-Fi network that I need to join. So it's prompting me to join the TP-Link network. Let me just click that with my finger. So now the iPad has connected to my router. Now, the second code on this screen gives me a link to my photo. As you can see, there's a link there. Let me just tap it. And I get my photo directly onto the iPad. So what's happened now is if I just close this down and go to my photos, you can see that I've downloaded my photo directly off my laptop onto my iPad and that's via the router. Okay, let me run the camera app again. Now I click finished and I'm back to the main right booth screen. This time I'm going to record a video, but I won't say anything on the video. I'll just wave or something. Let's, let's try that. So click the mouse to start, record a video. Right Booth processes the video. I've added some um, I've added an outro video in the video enhancements here, so it's just appended an outro video there. So this is the show video screen. Again, I've got the join Wi-Fi network option. I don't need to do that a second time. I've also got the link here to download the video. As you can see, the app on the iPad has found the link. Let me just link that now. And here we go. I am now playing the video on my iPad, downloaded directly off my PC. And again, I can then add that and download it onto the, onto the iPad. Okay, finally, I just want to give you an overview of the system and show you how you can get the information to do it yourself. So I've created a page in Right Booth call it overview let's go to that screen so this is what you do you need a PC running right booth now on this PC there is also a local web server running and I'm going to show you how to do that in the training material so you have to have a web server running on the PC now 
The videos and photos that Writebooth captures are all saved into a folder on the web server. And you also need a router. Now the router will be connected to the PC, probably via an ethernet cable, but you could also connect it via Wi-Fi. So you need to get hold of a spare router. And this will be providing a Wi-Fi network for the guests. Now, importantly, you don't need the internet here. This is a private Wi-Fi network. Now, when the guests use Writebooth and they get to their show photo screen or their show video screen, Writebooth will display the QR codes and the users can then scan the codes using the, a QR code scanner on their phones. The first QR code lets them join this Wi-Fi network and the second QR code, this one, lets the users get their videos and their photos directly onto their mobiles. And those photos and videos are accessed directly off the web server on your PC via the router. So that's the general principle. Now I'm sure you're keen to know how you can set all this up yourself. So for full details on this, you need to visit this website page, writebooth.com forward slash mediaserver.html. And I look forward to hearing how you all get on with it. So thanks for watching.